I just want to explain what today is all about and what this message is all about. Um, I have uh, been kind of uh, disappointed in church for a long time. I mean, before when I was in it, then leaving the church, going to Islam, then coming back to the church, and still being disappointed. As I started witnessing to this guy, he started telling me about uh, that he was he'd been thinking about going back to church because his sister now goes to Antioch in Long Beach. And um, he said uh, she's been doing real good too. She's been going every week and she's getting ready to be initiated into the Eastern Stars. Wow. And um, I said, do you know that the Eastern Stars is like a, a break off of Mason, it's a satanic organism, like it's, it's satanic? And he said, no, I didn't know that. He said, why would they have it in the church? Then I said, well, I, I, he said, I said, I really can't answer that why they have it there, but it is satanic. And so, um, I, I, I continued witnessing to him and, and got off the train and uh, went to the gym later that night. And one of the young ladies there says uh, she had moved down here from Lancaster. And she said that she was uh, going to Antioch as well. And she said her and her college friends were going there. But she said, I can't understand. And I asked the pastor, why do they have a big O behind the pulpit and not a cross? And the pastor said, because we're non-denominational. Now, if you know anything about witchcraft, the, the, the O represents witchcraft and Satanism. When, uh, so they have the O there because they have the Eastern stars are very prominent in their church. The guy on the Metro told me also that, um, that they even have their own building where they do some of their worship. And then they, they all come over to Antioch. And they are a big part of Antioch's uh, church services. So um, to put that O behind your pulpit means that everybody is aware of what's going on. The O stands for Order of Eastern Stars. Um, and it is a break off of Masons. The incredible thing is um, they have like t-shirts made with an upside down star and not just for the mason that the eastern star remember but for the little girls to say you're coming up to be an eastern star and so you have satan worship right in the middle of a church service yeah. and all of these people are going there and, and just really don't understand what they are exposing themselves to and their families to and that is what the church has become. You know, I, I just looked at it and I see that the church wants to be connected with the world so bad that we'll do almost anything to be accepted. Yes, yes. Who here wants to go to heaven? By a raise of hand, who here wants to see Jesus and go to heaven? That is a beautiful thing. The, the problem with that, that desire is now it takes some effort on your part after accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior to get there. Yeah. And the world has been set up for many deceptions and many things to keep you out of the kingdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to look at that some, some of that today but um, we are going to look at this booklet that we have today and uh, if you look at the front cover it's a this is the cover of Jay-Z's new album now this new album and if everyone kept asking me what is the what are the three lines for what are the three lines for so he explained that the three lines stand for the original three so who's the original three well, the original three for him is Amon, Ra, and Ptah, which are Egyptian gods. Um, of course, we understand that this is not the original three. Right? 
And we're going to get into that and study that. But before we get into that, I want to set up and, and show this, uh, this DVD so you can see what's going on in the music world that Satan is offering to your children and to yourselves.